What is good, Horror Horde? This is your boy, Horror Gamer, back with another video for you. And this is a quick little video because your boy, Horror Gamer, got something in the mail. Something I've been looking forward to. Something that I've been in the search of for a while. And I was having so much trouble finding it. I mean, <clears throat> so much trouble. But I ended up finding it on Amazon and it was pretty cheap when I found it. So I went forever looking for it, couldn't find it for shit. And then one day just like, all right, let me try it one more time. So I went on there, looked, and I got it. And I'm so happy I did. So without further ado, let's just unbox this bitch, shall we? I'm excited, I am so pumped for this. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's see what we got. Oh, I hope it is legit. Oh. oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. All right, so back in 2006, Ray Mysterio Sr. played in a horror movie. And it was one of those ones that never made it to theater. It was a low-budget B movie, but it was a well-made movie. B movie and it, it was just it was phenomenal and that ladies and gentlemen is oh Wrestlemaniac yes I am so pumped about this movie I used to watch the shit out of this movie when I was a kid back in all the way back in 2006 oh all right it's like what that was a while back all right, so it says, <clears throat> Kick-Ass, Fantastic, WrestleManiac hangs recent Hollywood slasher films out to dry. Well, back then in 2006, there wasn't really much. So it says, For an amateur porn... <laughs> for an amateur porn film crew traveling through Mexico, a wrong turn in the middle of nowhere leads to the ghost town called La Sangre de Dios. Where locals claim that deranged Lucidor L. I see I'm half I'm half Mexican and I can't read these names. El Mascarad. El Mascar El Mascarado, that's what it is. Jesus. <clears throat> Pro wrestling legend Rey Mysterio plays him. <clears throat> Still lives to rip the faces off his victims. Now the night. <clears throat> is closing and the clothes are coming off and the ultimate death match is about to be unleashed Erwin Keyes from House of a Thousand Corpses and sexy Layla Milani pro wrestling hottie and deal or no deals slamming <clears throat> lucky number 13 co-star in this gore spewing Brawl bursting shocker that Dread Central hails as bloody slamming fun with one of the most original movie maniacs to come along in a long time. Russell Maniac is the stuff that cult classics are made of. And I couldn't agree more. And so if y'all don't know, okay, in the Mexican culture, luchadors are like hailed as like top-notch celebrities and a lot of your luchadors wear masks okay so in culture and this is the way it used to be but in Mexican culture when a luchador is ready to hang up the boots or hang up the masks sometimes they take the mask off or they can be unmasked out of shame as well because hiding your face in the Mexican luchador culture is like, a, if you are if you make fame for yourself in that and you're known as wearing a face, you're not seen outside without your mask. Like, they will walk around with the people in tuxedos and their masks on. That's how real luchadors feel about their masks, like keeping their identities a secret. And when you're shamed in the ring and you get your mask pulled off, or if you decide to um, 
retire and you want your identity be, to be known at that point and you unmask yourself, that's like the ultimate like sacrifice for this particular, you know what I mean, for this culture. So that's why like back in like the early 90s when they had Rey Mysterio Jr. unmask himself, like I'm surprised he actually did that because, you know, that's big in Mexican culture. So, but I just wanted you guys to see this awesome new fucking movie I got. I can't wait to watch it, man. Oh, I'm definitely going to be redo be doing a review on this one soon. And as if you can't tell, I'm a little biased. So, all right, hard horde. With all that being said, I love you guys. Thank you guys. Fucking WrestleMania. Go, yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And don't forget, if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button along with that dingly ding ding button. That will be time your boy Horror Gamer throws up one of these unboxings you're in the know. And also, when you're done doing that, head on over to the Horror Gamer Patreon page where we got some cool perks. We got, you know, exclusives. We have giveaways. We have movie nights, hangout nights, all that fun stuff. So, And just know, every penny that goes into the Patreon comes right back to the channel for you guys. So... All right, Horror Horde, with all that being said, I will definitely leave a link in the description below for the uh, the Patreon page, so, but all right, Horror Horde, I love you guys, thank you guys, and this is your boy Horror Gamer saying, until next time, don't fear the darkness, and embrace it.